This week, lots of school systems all across the triad will hold a very special summer school. It does have reading and writing and yes, math, but it's presented in a fun way and they learn some history too and the students say yes, indeed it is fun. That's why Freedom School is a great example of what's right with our schools. At first glance, you might think this is a typical summer school gathering, but take another look. It's not your normal summer program or your summer camp. This is Freedom School, a summer literacy program designed by the Children's Defense Fund in Washington, D.C. We don't sit and get. They're up. They're doing cooperative group activities. They're excited about the things that they're creating. The day is started with Harambe. Harambe is a Kiswahili word that means let's come together. And that's exactly what they do. This is a time where we get the scholars energized and just ready for the day. Um, it gives them the opportunity to sing, dance, just the opportunity to just be themselves. Rashawn Meekins is the project director for Freedom School at Kimberly Park Elementary. You'll notice she calls the students scholars and the teachers servant leader interns. That's the Freedom School way. Everything is intentional when it comes to Freedom School. So all of our cheers and chants deal with spelling call and response, different things like that to get the scholars ready. After Harambe, it's time to head to the classroom. Which I tell people is the meat and potatoes of Freedom School. Oh, you're right, the whole thing, her mom cooked dinner. Okay, cool. There, you'll find students active and engaged in reading. We want to make reading fun, and what we believe is that once you make reading fun, they will want to learn to read. They made it home safely to go home. They made it home safely. It's a six week program, summer program, and each week is a different theme. So it's I can make a difference in myself, that's week one. I can make a difference in my family. I can make a difference in my community. I can make a difference in my world. I can make a difference in my country, and I can make a difference with hope, education, and action. The classroom walls are full of their work, a testament to the fun they've had with the books they've read. There's also a word wall. As we're reading, um, scholars come to a word that they don't know. Oh, that's a word wall word. Let's put it up on our word wall so we can learn what it is. So it's also teaching scholars that vocabulary. And then before you know it, you'll hear scholars using the different vocabulary that they learn from these books. Scholars come away with loads of confidence to get them ready for the school year. It motivates them to want to learn how to read. They come in this library, this is a well diverse library, um, and they see books, they look at the covers, and they get interested in wanting to learn, oh, what's that book about? You know, so it really gets them motivated to want to read. But Meekin says the best outcome may be the love of reading these scholars have discovered that everyone hopes will continue for years to come. So the students also go on field trips and do fun activities each week like bowling. Freedom schools also happening all over the, the triad and other schools across the Piedmont this summer.